Hello, beer troopers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hops. Today, joined by Brett Alvanomyces, checking out another beer that I brought back from MBCC. And this one I got from Luang in Norway. So thanks a lot to Luang, I think that's how you say, for yeah. the beer. Uh, so this is from Hanbokeriet, and I haven't reviewed any other beer in a long time. And uh, actually, my current boss, or brewmaster, ran Hanbokeriet mm -hmm. in Denmark. We had a brewery in Denmark called Honboyerud as well, and he actually told me that they didn't have a rivalry or anything because they had the same name. It was more like a fun little, uh, we have the same name, but nah. we're Norwegian, you're, we're da you're Danish. Nah. Uh, but he unfortunately closed his brewery uh, due to some stress and whatnot. But he's back in the game, he's my brewmaster now, and uh, this is from this Norwegian Honboyerud. Actually, I think you can, well, you might not be able to find his beer anymore but for a while have you ever been to pw locally they had like so many different old vintages of all kinds of danish stuff okay maybe i should pay a visit there again but this <laughs> is the good old lager from humble idiot and i didn't know that they started canning i think the last time i reviewed stuff from these guys was like odin's tipple their imperial stout and the Aqu aquavit barrel aged imperial porter maybe or something like that i don't know and they also had dark horse like that that was an imperial wheat stout the different thing like nowadays people like okay it's wheat in a stout but uh, back then it's like whoa okay you uh, put wheat in a stout so they made it and they had a, they had made some great beers but this is their hoppy lager good old lager is our hoppy tribute to a good friend ole so it's not old but actually good old lager mm. To uh, our good friend Ole, who recently retired. Think of Ole when you drink this hoppy lager with notes of peach, stone fruit, citrus, and pine. And play some Frank Zappa if you can. You can't because of YouTube. <laughs> but uh, this sounds like it's kind of going to be like a hazy, hoppy lager type yeah, thing. With the hops. I mean, the hops are Saz, classic, but also Idaho 7 and Galaxy. Uh. <laughs> uh, and then it's got Pilsner Malt and White Labs 830 yeast. And I don't remember which one that is, unfortunately. And the IBU is only 16, so not super bitter, and 5.5%. So, or maybe we'll see, because the last lager we had was nice and it was actually really well brewed, but our critique was it wasn't that lager like. But that one also stated, or that stated it was a pilsner mm, in North I German mean, tradition, yeah. and it wasn't really. No. But this doesn't say anything, so this I'm expecting maybe more of a I, I can PPL. smell that this is going to yeah. be much more, more modern. Yeah. Uh, pores, uh, hazy, golden yellow, yeah. unfiltered. Very pretty. Yeah, Colour. and it's not like crazy hazy. No, no. It's like kind of like a light chill haze. It's like an unfiltered lager. Nice. Yeah. Lager, yeah. A nice white head, let's see on the aroma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely modernized. That smells really good though. Yeah. Like, this just smells like an India Pale Lager. Super crisp, super clean, yeah. but then boatloads of like that galaxy sweet melon. And peach. Culture. Yeah, and peach for sure. And the interesting thing is it doesn't have that, cry it's like, it's not that dripping juiciness you get from a New England IPA, of course, because you oh. don't have the esters. No. So it's more of a showcase of the hop, really. Mm. A lightly like herbal undertone. Yeah, and that might come from sauce, mm. uh, even like the undertone of black pepper. And I just so oh, oh, seven definitely brings some dampness to the table as well. Yeah, yeah. But a uh, galaxy can also tri uh, contribute oh, to that herbal. Yeah. There's so much beer I want to make. I want to make an India Pale Lager as well. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it smells re really good. Let's try it. That's Cheers. And thanks to the beer one. Thank you. Yeah. This is definitely modernized lager. <laughs> it's pretty damn good though. Yeah. Even though it's only 17 IBUs or 16 IBUs, it has like a hint of snappiness. Yeah. But it's it perfect feels... that it has that. Yeah. Yeah, I think I so like too. It. And I, it feels like it's more than just 16 IBUs to me actually. Mm -hmm. It feels a bit more better. Mm -hmm. But so sometimes you can't really count on the mm -hmm. IBUs if it's depending on maybe your some bitterness from the dry hopping yeah that's what i was about to say it, yeah. and that gives a different type of bitterness yeah. than a strange and strong bitterness from hot side hops mm. but super clean and crisp a good amount of peach a good amount of grassiness as well from mm. size and peppery it's quite peppery it actually has some traditional vibes yeah and then it's not all just like modernized fruit flavor which is nice there is the classic touch still so it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. india pale lager means a pilsner i'd say or yeah. something like that yeah Absolutely. Uh, and then, yeah. Uh, like an herbal, I think that herbal yeah. green aftertaste is there. And it's probably a combination of the galaxy and, and sauce yeah. playing together. And there's some grapefruit citrus vibes as well. Yeah. I don't know how much stone fruit I'm getting really on the flavor. Mm. Um, and galaxy can also go a bit of that, like more old school, slightly earthy vibes. And I'm also getting that in here. Yeah. 
But I think this is a really nice lager, actually. Yeah, me too. I really like that it has... The, the taste is a bit more classic. Mm -hmm. It just has like a touch of some new modern, new school vibes. But I really like that. I could yeah. crush this. Yeah. I'm actually gonna give this a straight 90. I mm. think this is a really enjoyable yeah. hoppy lager. Yeah, I agree. It's, uh, it's a damn good lager. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so if you live in Norway, make sure to have boatloads of good Ole lager in the <laughs> fridge for the summer, because this is really refreshing. Thanks a ton to Duan for the beer. He said that the lagers he brought me were very good, and they were, so. But we Especially had a, this one. Yeah, this one's really good. But we have another beer from him as well to try, which is from uh, Ninha Moon Company, their oh, sour, yeah. their rasp, no, cherry. Yep. Uh, so. Sour beer. So that'll be fun. So yeah, thanks a ton to Duan for the beer. And as always, guys, remember to come subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another video.